Hello, this is Tommy. Welcome back to Chat Omics. Today, I'm going to share with you some computational biology or bioinformatics industry career advices. So, in this、uh, video, I'm going to share with you five tips that you can advance your career in industry. So, make sure you stick to the end. Okay. So, first of all, if you don't know me, this is the brief、uh, trajectory of my、uh, career. So I'm from China originally. I came to the States 2008 to pursue my PhD in genetics and genomics at the、Uni、University of Florida. So I did my under、uh, at Shanghai Jiao Tong University. So I was actually studying in a wet lab and doing a lot for wet experiments. At the fourth year of my PhD, that、uh, was around 2012, I started to teach myself computational biology because. My PhD advisor asked me to analyze a public available chip sequencing data, and I couldn't open it with Excel. So、uh, I stayed two, for two more years to kind of refine my computational skills a little bit during my PhD, and I went on to、uh, MD Anderson Cancer Center to pursue a full computational biology postdoc. So there, I had the opportunity to play with、uh, real-world genomic data sets, TB size data sets. And stayed there for almost three years, and、uh, moved to Harvard、uh, Faculty of Arts and Science as a senior bioinform bioinformatician, work working on single cell RNA sequencing and single cell ATEX sequencing data sets. So stayed there for、uh, almost two years, and then I moved to、uh, Dana Farber Cancer Institute.、Uh, there I was leading the bioinformatics effort for Cancer Immunological Data Commons, or CIDC, is it's a NIH funded consortium project, where、uh, four cancer centers in the states carrying out immunotherapy clinical trials, in collaboration with big pharma companies, and our、uh, responsibility was to process all those data securely on the cloud,、uh, in a standardized manner, and then give those data back to the clinical trial team for downstream、uh, correlative analysis. So、uh, stayed there also for almost two years. Then I moved to my、uh, current company. So that almost about two years ago, and I joined Immunita Therapeutics to establish their、uh, computational capability. So Immunita is a company、uh, focusing on、uh, single cell、uh, genomics and using、uh, single cell RNA sequencing, single cell、uh, T cell sequencing to discover new immunotherapy targets. And、uh, currently, our leading program, CD one sixty one, is on is in clinical trial phase one, and we are supporting some of the biomarker data analysis as well. Okay, the, and this is my blog、I、dive into genetics and genomics. If you don't know it, make sure you check it out. And this is my Twitter, so I'm really active on social media and share sharing my experience on bioinformatics and computational biology. Okay. So this is the、uh, I really like this diagram because this shows the core skills of、uh, computational biologists or, or bioinformatician. So first of all, you need to、uh, know enough computer science. You, you need to have like solid、uh, Unix,、uh, Python, and R programming skills, and you need to know enough statistics.、Uh, for example, you, you understand what is p value, if、uh, false discovery rate. And、you know how to use、uh, principal components analysis, and and also machine learning approaches, uh, uh, conventional machine learning approaches such as、uh, linear regression,、uh, random forest, support vector machine, and all like deep learning related methods. So lastly, or more importantly, you should be a biologist. You should have a strong actual domain expertise. In this case, it's biology. So only if you understand enough. Biology,、uh, then you can ask the right question and also understand the data, or even analyze data in a hypothesis-driven manner. Okay, so if you really know all three,、mm -hmm. you are the Superman or Wonder Woman. So this is the typical typical day of my life as a bioinformatics scientist. So first of all, googling. So I spent a lot of time googling around. Uh, I remember when I just started to learn bioinformatics, I spent so much time、uh, online or on the forum to ask questions, and Google around. But even now, I spend、um, a lot of time to Google how to and also error messages. And I spent time、uh, on reading manuals of bioinformatics tools,、uh, 
uh, converting different file formats by informatics is notorious uh, on how many different file formats are there and in order for one tool to be uh, to to use uh, uh, a file format a file output from a different tool you have to convert the file formats and i'll spend quite some time on tidying data because the real world data are really messy and you have to actually uh, have the data wrangling skills to tidy data into a format that you can do uh, downstream analysis so in storing software uh, you may actually find a tool that may be perfect for your current problem but then the first hurdle is always insoring that tool without error and it can sometimes can be challenging and sometimes i spend the whole day just to install a tool and lastly real analysis including plotting or modeling that's really only accounts for like 20 percent of my time okay enough about the uh, uh, the skills uh, of a biomathematician or a bi computation biologist. Now let me give you some tips. Uh, so if you want to really advance your career, first of all, uh, the tip number one is you want to get on social media, be it uh, on Twitter or the now rebranded to uh, X or Mastodon, Blue Sky or LinkedIn. So the reason you want to be on social media is, uh, is that you can follow people of the same interest. In this case, you want to follow people who are working on bioinformatics. Uh, if you are also interested in, for example, immunotherapy, you want to follow uh, 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 professors who are working on this field as well. So you know what's going on, uh, uh, most uh, up-to-date uh, information. And you can also follow like, bioinformatics papers or cancer immunology like, papers on LinkedIn. Or like Twitter and really I started my uh, Twitter journey uh, that was about 10 years ago after reading Steve Turner's blog how to stay current on bioinformatics this is a 2017 version and he had a 2012 version so that's like 11 years ago so after I read that I started to use uh, started use using Twitter and after almost 10 years now I have 20 25k followers so these are some tips for uh, LinkedIn. So first of all, you really need to take a professional picture. Uh, just for me, if you uh, actually send an, a connection request without a picture, I typically will not uh, accept that. So make sure you have a really a professional picture taken. So second, use a related banner so people know uh, what you are working on. Uh, when people come to your uh, page, they can instantly understand uh, your expertise. Also, the headline here, you should actually uh, write down the uh, expertise. So tip number two, uh, you need to write, you want to write a blog. So <laughs> this uh, I quote from Yi Hui Xie, I web, therefore I am. So if you don't know him, so Yi Hui, he actually developed uh, for R Markdown and many other awesome uh, tools uh, in, in, in the R uh, un, uh, universe. Uh, so why a blog? Uh, according to him, so a blog post is much better than a statement, I'm good at R or Bayesian stats on your CV. And uh, instead of like <laughs> write, writing a CV 20 hours uh, in the last semester, you can spend 30 minutes each day so in five years, building a really good website. And uh, there are also many other things that are more suitable for web, web pages. Okay. And this is my uh, blog uh, uh, website, so diving into genetics and genomics.com. So I put uh, my publications, my uh, blog posts. So I sh uh, recently I write several blog posts on uh, single cell related data analysis and more recently i started to write some posts on deep learning uh, and i also put my cv or talks there so so when people uh, uh google you and, and or like uh, find your website they have a much better understanding of what you are good at and also if you have uh, many different websites and uh, this called biolink this tool you can put all your links into the same page. I, I find it's a very good way to actually consolidate many of your links into the same page. And then you can put this page 
uh, into your, for example, Twitter profile. So if you don't have a website yet, my suggestion, suggestion is start now because just like learning bioinformatics or computational biology, the best time to start uh, one is 10 years ago, but the second best time uh, is right, it's right, right now. So take a weekend to set it up. It may take you several hours, but many people t just wait 10 years or like even longer than 10 years to, for that several hours to set it up. So you use Blockdown or more recent Quarto to, uh, from ask you to uh, uh, make a website. It's really easy to set it up. And lastly, it's, that's actually related. So make a GitHub repository. So put all your projects there. So as a hiring manager, so when I uh, receive all the CVs from the job candidates, if you don't have a GitHub re repository, I typically will not actually uh, advance them into the next round of interview. So make sure uh, you make, uh, make a really nice GitHub repository too. So tip number three, and how to connect with people like on social media or like in real life. So one core thing you need to remember is always give value on the table. And so I actually uh, got get quite a lot of emails asking for help and also messages from Twitter or LinkedIn asking for help. But, but really you want to actually give value on the table first. So be a giver, not a taker. So first of all, if you really cannot actually give anything, first of all, you can do, you, you, you can compliment and also ask questions like, but be genuinely curious. And lastly, if you can, you can offer for help. And this is true like for any actually human interactions, not only on social media, but it's also on, uh, in real life. You want to actually help others offer and give, 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 and people eventually one day and you will get return uh, without expectation. And tip number four, uh, demystifying some dragons in, in industry. So the other day I saw this tweet thread from Ashley. And uh, if you are from academia and trying to find a job in industry, there are some actually uh, industry dragons that you, you want to understand. So I find this is a good thread. So this is the original link. You can go there and, uh, and read it. But first of all, there are some like transfer, transferable skills uh, between academia and the industry. So in, in the same thread, as she talked about, for example, this dragon communicate with key stakeholders, which really just means to talk to people with an interest in your work. So in academia, stakeholders are PIs, funding agencies, or your university. Uh, then you communicate with stakeholders so when you give any kind of research or project update. So in, in the company, that would be your uh, direct manager, maybe your CEO and your uh, uh, venture capital, those investment companies, or like your collaborators, uh, or even some uh, contract research organization or CROs uh, that you are working with. And second, like create deliverables really it means create a tangible product from your work. So in academia, it typically means a published paper or reports. And uh, the same thing like in, in, in the company, typically it means you develop a program, uh, you make progress for different programs, and generate actionable insights. So really that means determine the key findings from your work. So actionable actionable uh, insights, findings that tell you what to do next. So what study would you do next? What changes do you make to your program? Learning is also another word for findings. So uh, work with cross-functional teams. So really it means work with groups of uh, different departments. So in academia, if you work with uh, different uh, departments like psychology or engineering, then you have worked with fun cross-functional teams in the company. So different companies also have different departments for example, computational biology or immunology, uh, uh, protein engineer, like in the case of my company, or like uh, translational biomarker team. So if you uh, 
so I need to work with uh, different teams. So that means I work with cross-functional teams. And lastly, deliver value. So uh, that means the work that we increase the, the monetary worth of the university or company, right? Like in academia, like you create a value for your company by bringing grant money, uh, winning awards, uh, teaching courses, and in the company, like if you can push different programs forward, and if you can get money from the investors, uh, that means you are deliver, delivering value. Okay. So the last tip, so what to consider uh, when you decide to join a company. So uh, I, I took this from actually Thomas Tan, our previous CEO, uh, CS, CSO who recruited me at Immunitas. So first of all, are the science cutting edge? So are you excited about the science? Is the science cutting edge? So that's the first. The second, uh, what's the culture? Like, are the people you will work with kind and smart? So uh, pay attention. They need to be kind first, then smart. So that's a good culture. If you uh, you are in a in, in a company that everybody compete with each other. Uh, in a really bad way, and you will not enjoy working there. Lastly, that's also very important. You need to understand the finance of the company, uh, because as, if you join a small biotech company, like you need to understand uh, what's the wrong way. It means how how many years the 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 fund can last. So, of course, if you join a big pharma company, there's no such concern. But again, uh, in such big companies, they also like, have co constant restru restructuring and they can remove a department actually uh, uh, quite often. So again, like understand those three points will be really important. So ask um, the uh, higher uh, job hirer like when you are doing the interview. Okay, and that's all for the five tips uh, in order for you to advance uh, your career in the uh, industry uh, for bioinformatics and computational biology. So I hope this content helped you a little bit. So click subscribe if you like it. Thank you. Happy learning. See you next time.